Hi everybody, today is Tuesday, March 5th, 2019. My name is Brian McInerney. I'm the hydrologist here with the National Weather Service. And this is a snow safety planning briefing for a winter storm that we have on the way. So let's take a look at what we got going. So this is the GFS model as of today. If you look over here, this jet right here, the strongest part of this storm, is pulling up moisture from this area down by Baja. And it's coming up and most of the moisture is going to affect central Utah. So when we look at this briefing, we talk about the Wasatch. The southern part of the Wasatch is going to do better. And then we're going to see the northern get a little drier. But it's a good storm. And really, it's the start of a storm cycle that's going to go at least 10 days off and on. And then when we looked even further out to the end of the month, it's going to be a very active weather pattern. This is just a segment of that storm. We were trying to figure out how to break this down. Um, and so what we thought we'd do is we'd look at the storm on Wednesday, and then we'll, we'll figure something else out after that. So with the storm on Wednesday, the snow totals, again, this is up in the Logan Mountains, 5 to 8 inches, not a whole lot, a half an inch to 8 tenths. And it's going to start late Tuesday, and it's going to end late Wednesday. And the greatest snow intensity is going to be about Wednesday, and it's going to be about an inch per hour. It's going to start at 6,000 feet and it's going to end about 6,000 feet. And the snow density trends across all of the storm are, are roughly about the same. It's moderate density snow that's going to increase just a little bit. It won't be that uh, cold front coming through and making the snow right side up. It's just going to be kind of moderate density snow throughout the entire event. But what we, we see is um, really early morning, late tonight, early morning, uh, the winds are going to be uh, 60 miles an hour at a, out of the southwest, and then it's going to stay out of the southwest and then kind of veer around on about noon on Wednesday. You're going to see the winds drop off pretty significant, but then really quick they're going to ramp back up to gust to 45 in this area out of the west-southwest and then veering southwest, and then it's going to be a westerly flow. And we're going to see this pattern. High winds to start. You're going to get a break, and then you're going to get bigger winds uh, in, in about the evening hours on Wednesday. So if we look at the northern mountains, Powder Mountain Snow Basin, um, the snow totals 8 to 12 inches. And this storm, being that it's coming out of the southwest, is going to favor Powder Mountain more in this area. Areas uh, that, that are doing much better when you think of southwest flow they're going to get more. So when you think of Powder Mountain at 12 inches, whereas Snow Basin may be on the lower end, snow water coolant 0.75 to 1.25. It's going to start Tuesday night tonight. Late Wednesday night is when it's going to end. And then when you look at the greatest snow intensity, Wednesday morning roughly through the afternoon, it's it's not a, um, an, a time that it's really going to go. It's, it's kind of a uniform snow with this. With peak snowfall rates about an inch to an inch and a half, it's going to start at 7,000 feet, meaning it's going to rain below that with snow above that. And then as it gets a little colder, it's going to be about 6,500 feet where you're going to get that rain snow line with that slight decrease uh, that we'll see um, uh, with this storm. When you think of the winds, again, that very similar pattern gusts about 60 miles an hour, and then you see it drop off through the morning hours of Wednesday and then pick back up in the afternoon hours to about 45 miles an hour. Southwest flow veering around west-southwest to southwest to west. When we look at the front side, and this is kind of important because usually you see Alta Snowbird doing better in these winter storms, but since this is southwest flow, what we're going to see is Brighton is going to be on the high end of this at about 20 inches. Uh, Alta is going to be on the lower end be as due to this southwest uh, orientation of the storm. So when you think the range is about 12 to 20 inches with snow water equivalent about 1 to 2 inches, it's going to start tonight late and it's going to end late tomorrow. When you look at the greatest snow intensity, again, we're not going to see a big period where it's going to snow really hard. It's going to be uniform snow for the most part with snow peak snowfall rates at about an inch and a half per hour, mostly up in the Brighton Big Cottonwood area. And it's going to start at 7,000 feet, meaning rain below 7,000 with uh, the snow level at the end of the storm at 6,500. And again, that very similar moderate snow. Uh, when we look for winds at this, maybe 65 miles an hour, a little higher, out of the southwest starting at midnight tonight, and then it's going to drop off in the morning hours on Wednesday, and then it's going to pick back up to about 70 miles an hour 
in the late afternoon and evening hours on Wednesday. Um, so, so again, you see that big winds tonight, a drop off in the morning, and then it's going to pick up again. When we shift over to the backside, Park City, Deer Valley, Sundance, what you see, and also the canyons with this, snow totals 10 to 18 inches. 18 inches is going to be on the higher end for Sundance and Deer Valley with Park City kind of in the middle and then the canyons area on the on the low end at maybe 10 inches of this of, of a moderate snow with snow water equivalent about an inch to 2.5. That 2.5 is most likely going to be down in the Sundance area uh, with the storm beginning Tuesday night tonight late with late Wednesday night. And the greatest snow intensity is Wednesday morning through the afternoon hours at about an inch and a half per hour. Snow levels at 7,000 feet decreasing to about 6,500 feet. Not a great deal of change. Um, but the, the uh, snow density trends, especially down low in some of these areas, are going to be pretty dense snow. And then it's going to increase as you go higher, but not a whole lot. Anticipate moderate, moderate snow throughout this entire event. Starting off tonight about midnight at 60 miles an hour out of the south-southwest, dropping off in the morning hours, maybe even into the, the early afternoon hours. But then about Wednesday at 6 p.m., we're going to see them pick back up at about 45 knots. 45, I'm sorry, 45 miles an hour and out of the southwest. Um, and you can see this event is, is south-southwest to southwest, back to south-southwest, and then west-southwest in this area here. When we shift over to the Uinas, what we're going to see is something similar. 12 to 15 inches of snow, 1 to 1.5 inches of water. Again, it's going to start Wednesday morning, maybe a little later as it's over in the in the Uinas. Um, storm ends late Wednesday night, and then when you look at the greatest snow intensity, somewhere in that Wednesday morning, maybe early afternoon hours at about an inch per hour. 7,000 feet is the rain level, dropping about 500 feet. Again, that snow density trend that we'll see. When you think of the winds, very similar. That early start out of the south-southwest at 60 miles an hour, dropping down, coming back up at about 45 miles an hour sometime in the evening hours for this location out of the southwest and then kind of just veering around in that direction. Okay, there you have it. Now, when you think of what's going on, we've got the next storm is Friday afternoon, Saturday morning. It's going to be a colder storm with about 1 to 1.5 inches of additional water and then it's going to snow to the valley floors. Uh, probably Friday night it's going to start with that. And then we've got another one Monday through Wednesday of next week favoring southern Utah with modest accumulation over the northern Wasatch. So when you think we've got a very active weather, weather pattern with a shifting avalanche issue, a lot of winds, a lot of moderate density snow, please check the Utah Avalanche Center if you are going in the backcountry. Uh, you can always call me. Glenn Merrill is the meteorologist who, who does a lot of the meteorology on this. He's very good at mountain meteorology. The two of us kind of put this together. Um, feel free to get with me at any time uh, via email or uh, through the National Weather Service. But active pattern, really, when you look at the models, all the way through the end of March, which is great as far as water supply and skiing goes, but a little shifting. So we'll go with that. And, uh, We'll talk to you on the next one. See ya.